Hello, in today's session we are going to show users how to create a post within their WordPress blog. Before I get started, I'd like to briefly share with you the differences between a page and a post. Pages used to display information that is static. Examples of this might be a description of your services or your contact information. These are both examples of information that ordinarily do not change with time. A post, on the other hand, is used to display information that is time-oriented. For an example, a local community website might want to write an article about a soccer, a youth soccer game that happened on Saturday morning. In this case, you would want your viewers to be able to click on an archive and view for Saturday's activity and see the article about the youth soccer game along with anything else that happened on that day. This is a perfect example of why you would want to write a post instead of a page. Now to get started, let's log into WordPress using the username and password that has been provided to you by your site administrator. Once logged in, WordPress will bring you to the dashboard that you currently see on your screen. To add a post, click on Post, click Add New. First step, you'll want to create a title for your post. Second step is to actually add content to your post in the box below. So let's go ahead and add some content. Okay, now that we've added your content, it's time to format the text. The big difference between typing a letter in Microsoft Word or adding content or typing content in the WordPress is how the, con the content is formatted. In Microsoft Word, you're used to selecting from a long list of fonts, sizes, colors. However, within WordPress, you're limited to something called a style sheet. The reason for this is that your viewers will be viewing your blog across many different platforms. Platforms such as Internet Explorer, Safari if they're viewing it through an Apple computer. And you'll want your viewers to be able to see the same thing on your website no matter what platform they use. So what happens is WordPress limits your ability to select typefaces to a core group of typefaces that are standard across all platforms. And the way they do that is they allow you to use something called a style sheet. Now, in order to access the style sheet to be able to format your text, if this second line on the toolbar does not show up, you'll want to click on the kitchen sink icon on the top row to expose the second line. If you notice, there's a menu option here that says paragraph. This gives you the options for your different um, typefaces and sizes. This is your list of styles. Now in order to format this text, let's highlight this first line in the, in the content that I've typed in. Select the drop down menu and in this case we're going to click heading 1. If you noticed it made the typeface fairly larger compared to the line below. Now if you want to make it a different color, you can go ahead and select a different color. If you want to make it bold, you can make it bold. And in this case, let's make the text centered on the page. Now that you're done formatting your content, there are two things you'll want to do to your post before publishing it so the whole world can view. First thing is, you'll need to make a decision whether or not you want to allow comments on your post by viewers. If you wish to allow comments, you'll want to scroll down to the bottom and make sure under the discussion menu, you'll want to make sure that this box is checked that says allow comments. Conversely, if you do not wish to allow your viewers to comment on your post, you'll want to make sure that this box is unchecked. In this case, we're going to keep it checked so that I can show you an example of what a comment will look like when someone comments on your post. 
The last step before publishing is you'll want to categorize this post into a specific category. Think of categories as a file inside a filing cabinet. Your post is the file, your category is the filing cabinet drawer. To select a category, scroll up and you will see, based on the categories already created within your site, you'll see a list of categories over here to the right on your screen. In this case, there are two categories already currently in place. The first one is uncategorized and the second one is welcome. The uncategorized category will automatically be defaulted to if you, for some reason, do not select a category when publishing your post. In this case, we're going to select the welcome category. Now that we've completed our post, we're going to then click the publish button. That's all there is to publishing your very first post. If you'd like to view the post that you've just created, click on view post. As you notice in the middle of the screen, here's your post. If you notice, the first line of our post is highlighted in red and it is centered within the, the post area on the page. Now, one last thing before we end our session, as I mentioned to you about comments. As you recall, I made sure that we selected the ability to allow comments on this post. And as you can see, at the bottom of your post, now that you've created it, you'll see an area that says speak your mind. This is the area in which your users will be able to comment on the post that you've created. So just to show you what that comment would look like on the screen, I'm going to type in a comment. And once I'm done, I'm going to hit submit. As you notice, Underneath your, your, your post, here is the comment section, and it says, Webmaster says, this is a comment. All right, this is the area in which your users will be able to interact with you uh, on your site, if that's something you choose. If you do not want, as I mentioned before, if you do not want your viewers to be able to comment on your content, you will need to make sure that that checkbox is unchecked. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.